Well, if you haven't yet showered your mum with Mother's Day cards, flowers and chocolate, you may want to check out some new research before you do. It suggests babies who were fed on demand when hungry end up brighter than those whose parents forced them into a strict routine. Researchers studied over 10,000 babies born in the early 1990s who were both breast and bottle fed. It found the babies fed on demand went on to achieve higher scores in standard assessment tests at school and by the age of eight their IQ was higher than classmates who had been fed on the kinds of routines you read about in all those baby books. Well, I'm joined now by Dr Maria Yakovu from the Institute for Social and Economic Research who led the study. How sure are you that one thing led to another? We're being quite cautious at the moment at... Um, at asserting that there is a causal link between these things. They're clearly associated. As you said, um, we don't yet know what the mechanism might be. We're looking at a number of different hypotheses. What are they? I mean, what, what are your theories as to why it might be? Well, one hypothesis, which I think is quite interesting, is that when you're a tiny baby, there's not very many things in your life which happen to you which are much fun. And feeding is probably the most fun thing that happens to you. And if that is something that you make happen, you know, you feel hungry, you cry, your mum feeds you, you know, that's something that you did. Whereas if you're fed to a schedule, um, feeding is something that happens at times that are kind of a bit more random to you. It's not a response really. that, you're, that you're in control of. Yes, it's not something that you're doing yourself. And so one hypothesis is that demand-fed babies go on to become more active participants in life and more active participants in their learning later Because this on. is going to be very controversial, isn't it, if it's true? Yeah, I mean, It blows I mean, out of the water a lot of very famous books. Yeah, it, it's a highly emotive subject. Um, but one thing that I would like to say is that this is the very first research of its kind in this area. You know, there's heaps and heaps of research about breastfeeding versus bottle feeding, but this is the very first research about schedule feeding versus demand feeding that's done, you know, with this very large sample over this very large time frame. So are you saying you need to do more? We need to do more and we need other people to do more. And in particular, we need to really understand what's going on there before we can say for sure what that causal link is. I mean, what, what did it tell you about the women uh, who, who fed their children in different ways and the effect on them? Um, first of all, the mothers who fed on demand and who fed to a schedule were slightly different in terms of, you know, a number of their characteristics. But interestingly, um, the effect of feeding on demand and feeding to a schedule was different for mothers than it was for babies because we looked at a number of outcomes for mothers relating to their well-being over the first three years of the baby's lives. And we found that actually feeding to a schedule was associated with higher levels of well-being for mothers. So you get a happier mother but a thicker baby. That's what you're saying? Essentially. <laughs> 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 Is it a price worth paying? Uh, pe pe people around the country are going to have to make their own decisions. Well, I think we, we really must remember that mothers are people too. You know, quite often in the debate about parenting and everything, we, we think that the baby is the only thing that matters. And in fact, that's not true. You know, mothers are people. OK, well, on that <laughs> note, on Mother's Day, Maria Yakovu, thank you very much indeed for coming thank in. Thank you. Now, after the break. Is it dangerous? It's not exactly danger, it's... Oh, I don't know. Something oppressive. The threats hanging over the real-life Watership Down.